Hey everybody. So we have a trade from a couple days to talk about. Um, between the Philadelphia Flyers and the Edmonton Oilers, they swapped goaltenders, and this is a this is a pretty interesting trade when you look at it. It was a one for one deal. Um, Philadelphia acquired Cam Talbot from Edmonton, who we knew uh, was on the trading block, and they uh, Edmonton got Anthony Stolarz in return. So this is a pretty interesting deal when you look at it. So um, Cam Talbot lost a starting job to Miko Koskin in Edmonton. He's had a really bad last couple of seasons. Uh, he's a U UFA at the end of this year, and uh, it, it became quite apparent that he was on his way out of Edmonton. Um, Anthony Stolarz, 25-year-old goaltender, still developing, still upcoming, um, has, has played... Uh, in Philly the last couple of years a little bit. Um, kind of one of those guys who's right on the edge of AHL and NHL. Um, he, he's never been like a full-time NHL guy for the most part, but he's kind of gone back and forth between the AHL and NHL. Um, so for Philadelphia here, um, you know, I... The, the game plan has to be to re-sign Cam Talbot, I would think. The, Philly's probably not going to the playoffs this year. I'm actually pretty sure they're not going to the playoffs this year. So why would they trade a, a you know a, a goaltending prospect like Stolarz for Cam Talbot if they're you know for for less than half a season and then just lose Talbot in free agency? That that can't be the game plan here. So. I'm thinking Carter Hart is clearly the guy in Philadelphia. He is their starting goaltender for the future, for the next 15 years, hopefully, for them. Carter Hart is the guy. So I'm thinking that they're bringing Cam Talbot to be a veteran backup for Hart, and then they're going to sign him to, to a deal for at least a few years um, you know, at the end of this season. For Edmonton, they get... You know, they're obviously done with Talbot. Talbot's been horrible for the last two years. Um, Miko Koskinen has been signed uh, to a deal to be the starting goaltender. They're, they're done with Cam Talbot. So they get a younger guy in Anthony Stolarz, somebody who has a lot more, I think, potential upside at this point than Cam Talbot does. Somebody who could be one of those late-blossoming goaltenders who maybe really finds his game in his mid to late 20s and can become a decent goaltender. Um, you know, right now he's you know a borderline AHL, NHL guy, but he's only 25, and goaltenders do develop slower than a lot of other positions. So... Maybe at 26, 27, he really solidifies himself as a solid NHL backup. And then maybe by 30, he can be a starter in the NHL. Um, he's a big big guy. He's got a good amount of talent as far as goaltending goes. Um, so I think for in Edmonton's case, that this isn't really, you know, this is a no-lose situation. You're done with Talbot anyway. He's not going to. Re you're not going to re-sign him. He's a UFA at the end of this year. He's gone. So at least in this case, you get something in return for him. And if Stolarz doesn't work out, you were just going to lose Talbot anyway. It doesn't really matter. And if Stolarz does work out, then you made a great trade, getting rid of a deadbeat backup goaltender and getting a, you know someone good, a good goaltending prospect in return. For Philadelphia, I mean, th I think this move is a little bit more risky for Philadelphia, although it's not a huge deal. Um, but they, they, I would think, have to re-sign Cam Talbot. Uh, this move would make no sense if they were just going to let him walk at the end of this season. There'd be no point in doing it. But if they re-sign Talbot, he's going to be Carter Hart's backup next year. He's going to be a veteran guy who's been around the league, obviously, a lot longer than Carter Hart has, and just kind of hope that he can be a stabilizing force as Philadelphia's backup. The problem I see with that, though, is Cam Talbot has been horrible for the past two seasons. Like The past two years have been awful, and this year he lost his starting job. To Miko Koskinen, who is a 30-year-old, basically rookie in the NHL, who hasn't even, you know, he's been playing in Europe up until this season, and he came in and took the starting job away from Cam Talbot. And 
it's not like Philadelphia is that much better defensively than Edmonton is. Yes, Edmonton is a terrible place for goaltenders. It's it's a terrible place for pretty much everybody, but it's a horrible place for goaltenders. But Philadelphia isn't exactly a place where goaltenders go to resurrect their career. Philadelphia is another one of those places like Edmonton where goalies go to die. So I don't know where, you know, necessarily that Philly is a great place for a struggling goaltender to go. Because we've seen good goaltenders go to Philly and absolutely fall flat on their faces in front of, you know, with that team. So I don't know if Talbot's really going to play all that well for the Flyers or work out for them. He hasn't played well for Edmonton. But uh, I assume that the plan, the plan here has got to be that he's going to be a veteran backup for Carter Hart for at least the next couple of years. That's at least what I think the point of this trade would be. So Philly's going to have to re-sign Talbot. Uh, at this point to probably a two or three year deal um, that's probably what's going to happen but anyway Cam Talbot goes to Philly Edmonton gets Anthony Stolarz and we have a goaltender swap in the NHL um, you don't really see those all that often but I think this is a trade that it's pretty clear what the objective is from both of these teams and uh, again it's a no risk move for Edmonton because they were they were done with Talbot anyway and for Philadelphia, maybe you get a solid backup out of Cam Talbot. Um, and if not, uh, you know, you gave up Stolarz, but Stolarz to this point hasn't shown that he's going to be anything spectacular at the NHL level. And Philly already has Carter Hart. They have their goaltender of the future, so it's not a huge loss for them to lose Stolarz. So it's a, it's a pretty safe trade by both sides, and there's a lot of potential upside, I think, for both sides. Uh, so it's a move that made sense. With that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media, check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links are down in the description below. Uh, if you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.